Here's yet another case where I would go to Desmos. I mean, we could easily plug points into equations here, and we know for every time they talk about an intercept, we at least have one of the coordinates, right? So if it's a y-intercept, we know the x is zero. That's not so bad. We, I can show it later, but like honestly, the fact that there's still fractions and negatives, like I, I'd be worried. Why, why take the risk, right? So let's just put this equation into Desmos. So we have 3x over 7 is equal to negative 5y over 9 plus 21. Now I, I lose it, but if I scroll out, we see the y-intercept and just tap it. So it's 37.8. That's it. That's the whole thing. Done. No doubt, right? So maybe we get confused and we think of an x-intercept, and so maybe somebody's going to put 49 here, but I don't know. The y-axis is pretty clear on the, the graph. So the benefit of Desmos is it really easily gives us the most important landmark points for most things, right? So for lines, it's going to give us the x and y-intercept if we just tap it. Uh, if it's going to give us any points of intersection, if there are any. For quadratics, it gives us the x-intercepts, the y-intercept, and the vertex. So we get all the stuff we would want very easily uh, without any calculating. So, uh, you know, if we did it the old fashioned way though, right? So we put a zero right in there. So that'd be zero is equal to negative five y over nine plus 21. So you gotta subtract 21. We get negative 21 is equal to negative five y over nine. So you're gonna multiply by the reciprocal. So times nine over negative five. So it's gonna kill the negatives. And then here you can't really reduce anything, right? So if you wanted to put this as a fraction, right? Nine times 21 is 189. So 189 over five, I think you can enter that in Desmos because it's five spaces, 189 slash five. Um, but I don't know. I mean, it is the right answer, I hope. Yeah, so that gives you 37.8. Um, so, you know, again, not that bad, right? The, the math is easy in a sense. It's just basic algebra, basic solve for X. But the question is, where are you more likely to make a mistake? You know, I think in Desmos, maybe there's a 1% chance of entering it wrong. And you can always double check that before you kind of bubble, you know, put your answer in. Um, but I think in the algebra, even if you're really good at math, there's like a 5% chance of a mistake. You're moving quickly. You're just trying to get through these kinds of questions. So you can get to the hard stuff. I don't think it's worth the risk. I think it's better to just let the calculator do it. It also saves the brain power for the really hard stuff.